Sh shall we start? Uh, yes, we, uh, who, um, Sri Lata, ma'am? Ma yeah, we can start now. Uh, we, uh, yeah. You will introduce. Uh. Should be. Mobile oh, sir will introduce, ma'am. Subjects latest knowledge. Please mute. Uh, Madam, shall we start, ma'am? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please. Yeah, very good evening to all. Uh, uh, third day of the evening session. This is Dr. A. Woblish, Assistant Professor, Computer Science and Engineering in Anurag University, Hyderabad, India. It's very privileged to me and very honored to me to introduce Janez Brest. Janez Brest, I triple member since 2002, received his PhD in Computer Science from the University of Maribor, Maribor, Slovenia in 2000. He has been with the Institute of Computer Science, University of Maribor since 1993. He is currently a full professor and head of the laboratory for computer architecture and programming languages. His research interests include evolutionary computing, artificial intelligence and optimization. His fields of expertise, embrace, programming languages, and the parallel and distributed computing research. He developed a self-adaptive differential evolution algorithm named ADE, very great work, sir. The variations of this algorithm becomes very suitable and indicate good performance over many benchmark functions, as well as a real world optimization problem. Dr. Brest is an associate editor of the journals form and evolutionary computations. Thank you, sir. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Thank you very much. Now I request the speaker, please hand over the session and start the session. Thank you, sir. Hello. Yes, hello. Yes, sir. Can carry on, sir. Just a second. Did you see my <clears throat> presentation? And did you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, Please. yes. Uh, good, good uh, evening uh, to all of you. Uh, good evening. In our country is afternoon. Uh, <clears throat> yes, it's very my pleasure to invite me uh, to this. <clears throat> uh, today I'll talk uh, about differential evolution. Uh, some history, some uh, developments, and also some applications. Uh, thanks for introducing me. Uh, I suggest that we start here. And at the end, please stop me if I didn't look to the time. Uh, <clears throat> today, sorry, my talk. Sir, uh, could you please switch on your video, sir, Janice, sir? Yeah, perfect, sir. So now you can also. Uh, and, uh, fine. Uh, <clears throat> well, after introduction uh, of uh, DE, differential evolution algorithm, I told you uh, regarding single objectivization, which may be the easiest one, but uh, not always. And uh, after that, I'll focus on some application. We are doing our lab uh, where we use uh, differential evolution. And uh, uh, outlines um, is uh, focused on uh, parameters controls uh, in differential evolution algorithm. Uh, it's also uh, regarding mutation strategies we have we know that there are more strategies 
and uh, adaptation, safe adaptation of code of MRs that may increase the performance of an algorithm, not only DE, but uh, every evolutional algorithm or nature-inspired algorithm in wider uh, sense or particle optimization and so on. And at, as I mentioned at the end, I'll show you some applications. That, uh, let's start just, just maybe very, very um, bit, uh, simple things. Uh, optimization, what is it? Uh, for example, here we have a two dimension function uh, with many uh, optima, uh, local and uh, global optima. Uh, for example, we want to find where is the global uh, maxima or global minima. Uh, well, uh, every every kid can tell you where is the global maxima of this function based on the picture, but uh, can be this true also in ten dimensional uh, ten dimensions of uh, problems. So we can we, we can uh, all know that uh, uh, it's not easy to plot ten dimensional functions. Uh, in two dimension, we can plot three D uh, plot, and we can see where it's minimum and maximum. And also, it is hard uh, then for uh, computer program or computer algorithms to find some such uh, such uh, optimum uh, optimization. We have in every air life on almost every step. So we want to optimize our our uh, way from um, home to to work and so on. So uh, we want to reduce uh, uh, costs and so on in every and every uh, every field uh, of our life some uh, functions are very uh, really many many global optima and uh, it's uh, for some algorithm it is very hard uh, uh, that it doesn't stuck in some local optima it's uh, also very hard to come out of this local optima uh, we can we can distinguish in global optimization uh, what we can uh, <clears throat> uh, find some some uh, uh, more focused a single objective we have a simple function uh, description of for our objective then large scales it means uh, the problem is very large very huge uh, it means very uh, ma many many dimensions then additionally we have some other constraints inside our problem uh, these constraints are several times also very hard to uh, be uh, uh, fulfilled. Dynamic optimization, maybe some some criteria is changed uh, during the optimization, or also our function is changing during the optimization. So it's not the same today, tomorrow, and after two days. We don't know what the situation. Uh, for example, also this COVID uh, pandemic is also very dynamic. Uh, for example. Then multimodal optimization, where we have many uh, local optima at the same level, and we want to find all of them. And multi-objective with different uh, different objectives, it's uh, another. And also many objective, it means uh, four or five or more objective optimization. So, uh, et, et cetera. Uh, today we will mainly focus on first two single objective large scale optimization and uh, algorithm uh, or uh, the uh, uh, mechanisms here uh, we are talking it's differential evolution uh, it is evolution algorithm so global station what we want we want to find solution say x uh, it is vector of variables or uh, parameters and uh, if that denotes the dimension of a function, uh, then we want to find such x that it's uh, our, our objective of function, say uh, we want to uh, find minimum or uh, maximum, it doesn't matter, but one of them. Uh, and uh, this is our criteria. Usually have some lower and upper bounds of variables, maybe they are prescribed in bounds. Uh, so inside this, uh, uh, so-called search space we want to uh, fi uh, to find the best x vector uh, as i mentioned large scale globalization is uh, usual the dimension is huge uh, thousand or even more millions and so on uh, let's go to differential evolution um, it is quite 
old, uh, for example, now it's more than 20 years ago, 25 uh, more or less. Uh, it was proposed by Storen Price in 1995 in technical report and then in journal paper 97. And it is population based algorithm. So we now we are talking uh, about evolutionary algorithm and all al uh, evolutionary algorithms uh, belongs to group of population based algorithms. Uh, on the other hand, we have single uh, population yes, with, with single individual uh, algorithms. It's for example, uh, simulating annealing algorithm. It only have one individual and try to improve based on it. But here we have individuals and uh, all individuals or agent or vectors. It doesn't matter how in uh, each uh, uh, algorithm it's called uh, try to uh, be guided together uh, to uh, to the final goal uh, to find for example minima inside some uh, function uh, and uh, differential evolution is uh, interesting uh, maybe also of this uh, he has a small number of control parameters but uh, Later, we will talk regarding some self adaptation and so on. Just uh, briefly, uh, <clears throat> uh, in DE, uh, we have uh, four steps. After random in initialization of individuals, uh, there are three steps um, uh, repeated mutation, crossover, and selection. And uh, when we finish, we have uh, at the end, we have a uh, base vector. Uh, as our solution and also its fitness value. That, that's uh, everything. So, uh, of course, here, what is the stopping condition is also a question when we want to stop it uh, and so on. Uh, maybe another another uh, point, um, another view of the same. Uh, we started with some individuals, yes, say MP, size of population, and then uh, after several generations, uh, uh, we uh, try to evolve all these uh, individuals, and at the end, we are uh, interested of the x best x, x best individual, and that's the last uh, mutation, crossover, and selection are three operations that uh, try to improve individuals and guide individuals into the right position in the search space. Uh, Yes, here we have here we have uh, the um, um, differential solution maybe more 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 uh, uh, precisely defined. Uh, don't be scared of this this formula, but uh, only uh, differential uh, comes from difference of two randomly chosen uh, individuals inside population uh, multiplied by a scale factor, and uh, this uh, uh, <clears throat> is then added to the. Uh, another third uh, selected random individuals and uh, so is generate new individual uh, and after crossover here's some permutation we take some from uh, previous and the new generated one and at the end we have greedy selections in de uh, we compare uh, trial vector and uh, our uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, original vector and better survives. So uh, this is actually this is uh, uh, the main main steps and main their main steps of DE and uh, three uh, control parameters are here: population size, mutation scale factor, and crossover parameter. Uh, that it, that that that's all. Uh, <clears throat> DE has uh, many other uh, mutation strategy. Here uh, are five of them. Uh, and uh, if you are interested in it, you can look at some surveys. Uh, Professor Sugatan, Professor Das, uh, uh, and uh, Neri, and uh, some others uh, to, to, to read, to focus, or just if you uh, at the early stage of your research and you want to well, go to, to evolutional algorithms and you're interested in the evolution, then I suggest to start with uh, such surveys and uh, you are on the right right way. Uh, but we can see here, maybe for more experienced uh, users, uh, we can see that uh, DE is uh, somehow you know, the strategy trade-off of randomly generated individual yes, uh, or uh, the best one 
yes, on the other side. So trade off uh, where we want to go, go to the random direction or we are approaching more or less to the baseband. Uh, yes? If we are just try to approach to the baseband, maybe we can miss something on our way. Uh, therefore, random uh, steps or random uh, directions are also quite good. It's not fully random, uh, but uh, we have more and more uh, possibilities inside this. Uh, yes, uh, DE, uh, original DE has three contour parameters and they are fixed, uh, they remain fixed during the obsession uh, or uh, so-called evolutionary process. And uh, as we find out in our lecture and many other researchers that better settings also uh, <clears throat> Uh, uh, we'll go for uh, uh, or better settings of uh, parameters, we will get the, at the end better results. And uh, not only parameter tuning, but also adaptation of uh, parameters are very, very uh, useful things. Uh, next uh, single objective, uh, I'll give you some algorithms that are uh, quite proper, or um, I also can say state of art. And uh, third one is of, of one of my of my colleagues and uh, sound a JDE. Uh, it's a version we'll uh, see them later. And uh, here um, some uh, called shade and L shades are very popular algorithms. So just if you remember, just names and then uh, start with this uh, algorithm is quite quite good. Um, uh, just briefly to describe some uh, two or three of them. Uh, JD, the main thing is that uh, parameters are also encoding uh, with each individual. This is one individual. Here is the vector in the uh, uh, jet generation. Uh, and uh, F and C are two parameters that are, that are encoding. It means each individual has its own uh, control parameters. And uh, the, this is, uh, and uh, they are they are uh, approaching for for uh, how they are updated. They are updated based on um, quite based, so so called simple, but not uh, not necessarily very usual. Uh, in m most cases, they uh, are the same in uh, G and G plus uh, generation. But uh, in some case, with small probability, we can we can actually uh, randomly uh, select it from some interval. For example, scale parameter is from zero to one to one zero, and uh, CR is uh, similar, but it's on, on the other uh, interval of this. So um, this is the main thing uh, of the J JD algorithm, and uh, these algorithms uh, we will see later uh, have some influences on many other also algorithms. Uh, then uh, very known uh, another algorithm uh, is from Professor Sugantan, uh, and uh, it used an, uh, another uh, so-called normal uh, or Gaussian distribution to generate uh, scale parameters or the contra parameters. So uh, there is uh, maybe more natural, but uh, both of them works quite well. Then another JATE algorithm uh, use uh, p-based mutation strategy, uh, not only the base one, but uh, stop p best for 100% uh, of individual are influenced in the, this place. So in, during the, this is during the mutation strategy. Uh, then for example, just opposite of this, uh, some algorithm with uh, pre-described fixed values and also works quite quite well in several, in several uh, uh, um, uh, real problem optimization. Uh, as uh, the, maybe the uh, last one, shade, uh, it's used um, uh, additional historical memory, uh, how to adapt uh, contra parameters uh, in uh, differential evolution. Uh, it's uh, um, it, uh, very, very um, <clears throat> similar to uh, jade algorithm, previous algorithm, but uh, performs uh, good, uh, obtain good results on some uh, benchmark functions and so on. Uh, of course, there are many, many, many others. Uh, don't be scared, so you can find uh, many of them. Uh, and uh, therefore, 
I suggest that if you are start start with the latest one and uh, with good one uh, at the end. But uh, you can see that many uh, people uh, research on this area. Uh, this evolutionary computation is quite uh, quite uh, useful. Also, for example, in uh, neural networks and so on, uh, many of them uh, work also there. Uh, what are you doing in, in a neural uh, computation? Uh, so you want to uh, adjust or tune your weights inside uh, levels in the neural networks. Right? Uh, and this is also some uh, so-called opti optimization. Huh? I hope you agree with me. Uh, these JD algorithms, many uh, another versions or many other algorithms were derived from this. Uh, in, in single objective globalization, I mean, I, will try to, I, I'll, I want to mention two of them, uh, J100, uh, CEC 2000, is its Congress on Evolutionary Computation. These algorithms uh, uh, took first place, and then this, this uh, J2020, uh, this year, on the same conference or wiki conference, uh, it was third, in third place. And also large scale, we have some development on JD and also on, for constraint optimization, maybe earlier, or also for dynamic optimization and so on. So uh, from this JD, we developed later uh, many, many uh, so-called good algorithms or state-of-the-art algorithms also, uh, particularly for some kind of optimization. Uh, next uh, is uh, maybe just a, another another stuff, but uh, it's uh, quite uh, uh, very very uh, also popular in the latest uh, L-shaped algorithm mentioned before used also population size of reduction. So uh, we introduced this mechanism uh, in 2008 uh, in uh, DE and uh, L-shade use different population size mechanism, but uh, uh, nowadays many algorithms use this uh, population size reduction mechanism, uh, maybe not the same, but uh, uh, how they improve the performance. Uh, what is the, uh, be, uh, maybe uh, behind? Uh, I, to I told, I talk uh, uh, regarding stopping condition. Uh, in uh, optimization, usually end user uh, is um, wanted something, sometimes a different uh, stopping condition. Uh, this is maybe a maximum function uh, of fitness relations, then maximum number of generation. Then uh, he wants to have some very, very convergence, uh, then uh, also time constraints and so on. So uh, what is the uh, or robustness on the other hand? And uh, with population size reduction, we can save several times uh, um, function evaluations and uh, then uh, also in real world, uh, each function relation maybe means also money. Uh, at the end, yes, ex experiments uh, also on computer uh, cost something, and it means uh, with population size reduction we can we can uh, get some uh, some money also. Um, just as as example on CEC, uh, there were several algorithms uh, also based on differential evolution and uh, also uh, other. Uh, algorithms and uh, just uh, to to point out that four of or three of them uh, are were ranked uh, top uh, four uh, they, they, they are de based uh, they are de based algorithms so uh, for example on that competition it's three years old but uh, at this competition was uh, quite quite uh, sorry quite uh, quite a many many uh, uh, quite a many uh, 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 algorithms. Uh, uh, <clears throat> maybe, maybe just this is a question is dimension D is enough or it's uh, hard to solve? Uh, yes, also on, on this competition with dimension 10, uh, there are some, some uh, functions, uh, some metric functions that are very uh, hard to solve. Uh, also. And now I'll show you some uh, applications where DE was involved, or we used DE in usually, usually in our lab 
uh, some of them are maybe uh, some years old, but uh, are quite interesting, and then I can show you. Uh, we use DE, first of all, for procedural tree uh, models, uh, for modeling and also for uh, uh, reconstruction. So, uh, how to, how to uh, uh, the, the general question is how to present, how to plot, how to plot tree. Uh, and uh, it is not uh, so easy to ask also for computer just to plot. Of, of course, uh, once say uh, take a picture and photo and put on your screen, it's fine. But this uh, uh, picture is then uh, some co co fixed, uh, but uh, maybe we want some animation and so on. So uh, for construction in some procedure model, uh, we can plot several or we can get several types of tree and also uh, wind uh, and uh, so on. Uh, here I have um, uh, yeah. Did you see, uh, now I hope you see uh, this, this uh, video. Huh? The video, uh, yeah, it has not yet started. We are still able to see your presentation. Uh, our presentation, maybe I'll sh share just a second. Okay. Yes, uh, now it is yeah. coming, sir. Yes, yes, yes. I need, I need to, yeah, share, yeah. To, to, to share. Is, uh, uh, here we, we, we can see that how to grow uh, three in computer animation. Uh, another. Uh, I need, uh, I have more videos, but okay. Uh, I need once again. Uh, also in some wind, uh, you can see, uh, for example, yes, this, uh, this tree is uh, weird. Uh, okay. Let's go to this. Uh, yes, this is maybe. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yes, in, 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 inside this we have, for example, um, in this tree we have uh, three or four thousand uh, parameters uh, uh, to be tuned and to be uh, with these parameters we get different types of tree and so on. Only based on parameters and different types of tree are only based on the parameters. Uh, and it's very interesting. Next, uh, it was uh, on the C, uh, the glider, and uh, how to uh, <clears throat> guide this glider uh, under the sea. We know that's uh, only only problem under the uh, underwater is that a GPS signal doesn't work. Uh, so it's uh, quite interesting how to how to uh, <clears throat> guide this uh, uh, glider uh, based on based on uh, some. But of course. Uh, he must go up uh, the water to get GPS position and then the next uh, direction. Uh, then uh, we used uh, D also for uh, uh, image thresholding. Uh, it's poor work here. Uh, also some uh, some other uh, photos here. Uh, I hope you uh, see that uh, there is uh, uh, multi-level uh, here is uh, black and white uh, image only but it also can work also for uh, um, colored uh, pictures maybe the uh, <clears throat> uh, next uh, and maybe the more interesting thing uh, we use also de for protein structure prediction it's very very wide uh, research area uh, we here we only work on uh, protein structure optim optimization yes and uh, it's only our part uh, so we are not working chemistry biology and mathematics and so on but only for for this and uh, here we have uh, two um, uh, so-called um, uh, easiest model uh, uh, HP and AB uh, we will see later uh, what's going on uh, and uh, based on this uh, we then we have some optimization uh, 
Uh, and uh, this protein structure intuition is very uh, famous or uh, very challenged uh, of um, this and also previous century. These problems are very, very, very many, many researchers are based on this. How to, how to, uh, in, it's very interesting question. In nature, uh, for example, uh, protein, uh, how to its native structure in a in a seconds or in a milliseconds but uh, with uh, computer uh, we can uh, animate and work and uh, uh, try to try to uh, follow this uh, uh, process from the nature but uh, our computers are not uh, enough to, uh, powerful yet uh, hp model it means we have uh, our uh, h or p uh, acids amino acids uh, arranged on the um, um, this uh, um, coordinates uh, of ones uh, in uh, three, di three dimensions. And uh, uh, what we want, we want to put that uh, uh, light uh, colors, uh, atoms or amino acids are put it together. And uh, based on this, uh, we, we, have, we have better better energy or lower energy in this case, and it means the better structure, yes? Native structure is very important of some, some also disease and uh, so on, Alzheimer and uh, something if they're not, uh, not uh, properly um, uh, folded, uh, these uh, proteins. Uh, and H model is maybe the easiest model, and uh, with not many, but uh, it's also very, 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 very. Uh, then uh, in um, a, uh, a B model, uh, we have we have also in three dimensions. We want to uh, to arrange uh, uh, some uh, some uh, sequences, yes, and we can represent it with by three, three, three points in three dimension, or with two angels. And uh, usually, uh, two angels are used. Uh, it's easier to. In, in, in its presentation in, inside the computer. Uh, and uh, what we have here, we have some a sequence of uh, uh, that amino acids, uh, also some names and labels and so on, uh, also the length of this. And uh, now uh, our goal is how to, uh, how this sequ sequence is folded or it must be folded inside three, three dimension. Uh, it means we want to, we want to, uh, 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 see that at the beginning we have something like Hampelix energy is 72 and it is not very very compact way and uh, using our algorithm uh, here we have that uh, uh, darker are outside and uh, hydrophobic and hydrophilic uh, uh, more, uh, amino acids are then then uh, hydrophilic are inside uh, this uh, this uh, part uh, also for maybe uh, uh, wider and greater it's, it's something like this and then i hope here we have also just inside this uh, it's a uh, video uh, how does the how does it uh, work inside our organization so uh, what we want we want to arrange angels between between as here is the uh, uh, zero 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 and then we want to put this uh, protein into some some structure that is very very uh, connected uh, based on some equations i skip those equations there uh, uh, leonard john's potential and so on so uh, maybe some of them uh, some of you are familiar also with this so or if you are coming from uh, chemistry, chemistry or biology uh, then you are not or, or maybe physics uh, also used uh, this leonard uh, john's potential uh, for, for this huh? Uh, and uh, DE and especially JD is quite uh, uh, good uh, in this op optimization. So uh, uh, here you have uh, a link. Uh, you can you can go to our web page and uh, you can also do uh, additional videos. Uh, how does it work? And you can play also. Uh, with your with your uh, 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 examples and so on, so uh, gen general uh, maybe just a little. I have
Uh, this one. Sorry, I have too many tabs uh, and open windows. Uh, this is this is the uh, this uh, uh, web page, and uh, here uh, you can also play some some videos. Uh, how does this uh, process is is uh, going, and uh, also some rotation. So. Uh, uh, What's, what's wrong now with uh, here 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 you have some uh, some links to our uh, to our uh, works and uh, this one is the latest one uh, also you can get it on the archive uh, 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 archive uh, to download and uh, to see uh, if you are interested in in this one then uh, oh, it's... Uh, yes they are too too open uh, i mean uh, <clears throat> at the end at the end i want just to uh, try eh? but it's very difficult uh, to talk uh, about uh, the future uh, actually we can see also this corona pandemic and so on uh, eh, maybe two years ago uh, i was in hybrid but this year it is virtually uh, and so on. Uh, also, uh, this computational intelligence, uh, where we also include uh, evolutional algorithms, uh, particle form, or nature spiral algorithms, and so, uh, they also try to solve uh, real world optimization problems. And uh, we expected that they will be extended with some new mechanism that uh, will focus on adaptation, self adaptation of parameters, and also. Uh, to uh, perform uh, such algorithms more robust and uh, uh, also i believe that uh, something will be done uh, will be will be will be uh, going to be done uh, uh, in with the population size uh, since this uh, population size also uh, is very important in the evolution algorithms and uh, there are many fields uh, energy robotics chemistry finance and so on uh, where uh, uh, engineering applications are very uh, useful and uh, i think that also de will survive uh, also this uh, corona pandemic uh, at the end uh, just uh, some photo uh, from the left uh, uh, Reinhard Storr and uh, Kenneth Price, uh, that are authors from uh, of the differential evolutions, and uh, we met uh, in, in San Sebastian in Spain. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you so much. Thank you, yes. thank you sir. Sir, uh, any questions, please? I request, uh, I request all the participants, if you have any clarifications, any doubts. Hello, yeah, this is, I am Prahlad Rao here. Uh, sir, I worked on the genetic algorithms evolution strategies for VLSA channel routing. Uh, since then, earlier also evolution strategies are very powerful, right? Uh, but the thing is, uh, in the real world application, they're computationally intensive. And uh, when we apply parallelization techniques and all that, what is the current state today, sir? Uh, I hope that I 
catch the right uh, your uh, question. So uh, you mentioned paral parallelization uh, and um, real world applications. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, of course, uh, using uh, high performance computing, uh, HPC and so on, it's very, very useful for doing experiments uh, because you can perform uh, your uh, um, sequential algorithm uh, in parallel way. This is very, very, very uh, useful. Uh, but also uh, you can parallelize your algorithms uh, all, uh, all evolution algorithms are easily to be paralyzed. Yes, uh, you can you can evaluate function. If function evaluation is quite expensive, then you can you can parallelize uh, such algorithm quite easily, and it means uh, time and also, uh, as I mentioned, money. Uh, then. Uh, um, uh, yes, uh, uh, usually, usually, uh, also uh, time uh, complexity of the uh, 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 um, evaluations and so on uh, are quite high. Therefore, parallelization is uh, very, very uh, useful things, and uh, very, it is. Uh, we also uh, perform some uh, parallelization. And then uh, global optimization, is it empirically true or is it uh, definitely true? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, uh, several problems. Are, uh, we, we don't know for many, many real problems, real world problems, we don't know what is the real uh, global optima. Eh? And therefore, we know this, this uh, so called uh, known based solution. So, uh, but in global optimization, we want to find. Uh, really, uh, I mean, it's really global optima. Uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, and also in for, from four time four decomposition, uh, we try to find nature uh, native uh, uh, structure. Uh, it means it's really really optima in some sense. Yes. When you solve this, we have eighty one point zero eight percent and then we have answer. Of the C part. Now we will calculate the C part. In the C part, we have to find out the inverse voltage. And we already know the inverse voltage for the. Uh, sorry, I beg your pardon. Uh, I didn't catch your, your uh, question. So. If, Host, would if, you like to unmute? Any participants? Any doubts? The question uh, in the chat box. No? Sir, is it uh, is it applicable for any real time applications? Uh, yes, yeah, so of course it is. It is. Uh, I think it is also applicable to real time application. But uh, uh, of course, it, it, it's, uh, it means what is what is uh, uh, on a hard real time uh, problem or uh, soft real time problem. But uh, uh, it depends. So, what is your your uh, time uh, in, in this uh, real time problem? Uh, how how many? I don't know. Uh, milliseconds you have. Uh, and you can you can also perform uh, only some generations, not necessarily the whole uh, the whole optimization, and it is uh, also useful. Thank you, sir. Uh, chat box. One of the question is there, sir. <coughs> uh, to, to what, what is extent the this... optimization in medical data sets? And how it can help to predict the results? Uh, in, in you you mean you, you mean uh, this uh, in the protein structure prediction, or Yeah, the question. Hi, uh, uh, hi, Professor Janis. This is Dr. Sandeep from Anurag, and yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for the all this wonderful session. And uh, the question here it says that uh, uh, what extent these optimizations are useful? 
Uh, yes, uh, you you mentioned in the in the in the uh, this is for protest action petition or uh, only this one or uh, in general. In general, uh, in general, in general. In, yes, in general, I, I I show you several several examples. So, for example, uh, in uh, this tree, yes, uh, we built we built uh, procedure models. Then we used also for uh, reconstructions. Yes, uh, uh, from uh, for example, we took uh, uh, two photos. Uh, of three in different angels, and then we made uh, uh, procedure model, yes? uh, how to generate 3D procedure model based on two or two, and this is uh, a reconstruction process. And uh, in, inside this, we use uh, uh, differential evolution for op optimization. Uh, Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you. Hello, sir. I have one question. Pilotma here from Anurag University. You have shown. DE optimization has been used for segmentation, learning, folding process, computer vision. So in the learning, there is uh, optimization of the weights have to be done. So uh, can you just tell whether the, the, the differential evolution is more applicable to which type of learning, supervised, unsupervised, or reinforcement, or is it equally applicable to any type of learning? Oh, it's it's quite it's quite a uh, hard question. Also, quite uh, hard to answer from my side. I I am I'm not so uh, very uh, deep inside these machine learning approaches, and also that def I don't have as uh, or uh, I couldn't give you the right answer. Uh, but um, uh, maybe DE is very useful for continuous problem optimization. Yes. Uh, okay. with uh, uh, with uh, not 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 so with uh, uh, de works also with uh, discrete optimization yes, or binary optimization but it is very powerful in uh, when when you have uh, some uh, uh, parameters uh, that are uh, real numbers yeah? okay yeah so maybe maybe first part of this so if if you want if you want to have some uh, some uh, uh, parameters that uh, use real numbers uh, uh, for, for example for minus 10.5 to 20.3 uh, uh, and inside this interval then uh, de is uh, very very powerful for okay thank you i get it thank you it was very wonderful to know about the optimization because it's everywhere it's just a algorithm used everywhere nowadays, whether it's machine learning or whether it's computer science, biology, physics, as you have mentioned, multidisciplinary applications are there. Thanks for giving us this insight. Thanks for your time also. Now I'll hand over to the program committee. Any more questions or we can... Yeah, from the participants, still any questions, please. Yes, if you have another question, you can send me to my email and uh, I'll try to answer. Sure, sure. Okay, yeah. then. Okay, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, today, in this session, uh, wait one minute, sir. Uh, today, uh, speaker is given uh, more insights on DE and self-adaptive DE, numerical encoding tree, multi-level image thresholding, protein folding, and HP model, AB model, and a folding process of uh, one AGT, including of uh, emerging trends and uh, future directions. So regarding all the concepts, uh, speaker is given more in-depth knowledge for all the participants. I hope uh, everyone has enjoyed this session. Sir, uh, from uh, participants also, you got very feedback, sir, very good feedback, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for your more informative session, sir. Thank you very much. Now I request Deepka, ma'am, please share this uh, certificate. This is your cert uh, certificate, sir. We'll mail you. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, uh, thanks for your time. We have uh, next speaker, uh, Professor Sabrina Senator. Would you like to meet her, sir? She is here. She was listening to, yours, to your uh, talk. Just now she has joined also. Hello, Sabrina. Are you there? Hello. Professor Sabrina? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Hello. Good Hello. Evening. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Yeah, you can switch everyone. on your video. Yeah. You switch on a, your video. Yeah. Just a moment. Hi. Hi. Um, okay. It's, uh, it's yeah, we are able to, to see you. Yeah, we are able to see you. 
No, uh, you can see my my uh, vid my desktop. Vida, no, Vida. Vida. no, no, it's it doesn't. It's, I don't know. It doesn't work. Just a moment. You need to share screen. Yeah, uh, desktop. But I have a, a, a strange signal. It's, it doesn't it doesn't work. It's uh, I don't know why. Just a moment. I want to solve it. I don't know. Can you hear my my screen? Ma'am, please share the screen. No, screen is no, not. No, I cannot. I don't know why. Ma'am, share screen. Click on my screen. Share screen. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't know. I hope. I have some restriction on my. Okay, I can try again. It say that. Um, come. Okay, just a moment. Um, Doctor Sabrina, this is uh, Sri Devi. Let me yeah. give, give a brief profile to the yes. participants. Yeah, good evening all. Uh, this is Dr. Sri Devi from the Department of CSC. And our last speaker tonight is Dr. Sabrina Semitore, and her talk is going to be on the towards situation aware UAVs by semantic models for a high level situation comprehension. Dr. Sabrina received yeah. a MS degree in computer science from University of Salerno, Italy in 1999, and the PhD degree in computer science from Unis University of Salerno in 2004. From 2005, she is a faculty okay. member at the University of Salerno. Now her current position is Associate Professor of Computer Science at the, at the University of Salerno, Italy. She is the Chair of IEEE CIS Task Force on Intelligent in uh, Agents and member of the IEEE CIS Intelligence Society Task Force Fuzzy Systems for Web Intelligence. She is an Associate Editor of Information Science Elsewhere and IEEE Transaction on cybernetics. She is also an editorial member of the Applied Intelligence Journal and International Journal of Computational Intelligence Theory and Practice. She has, she has reviewed many papers from international conferences and many international journals. Her current research interests include the development and application of intelligent systems based on the combination of techniques from soft computing, computational intelligence, text mining, information retrieval, semantic web and intelligent agents, areas in which she has published extensively. Thanks, Sabrina, for joining us. Now it's over to you, Sabrina. So, uh, sorry, I have a problem with my, I cannot share my presentation. I don't know uh, how I can. Can you share your presentation to me? I will share from my end. Okay, I can. You mail it to me. Okay, I, I can try, okay, I can try. It's very strange. I'm so sorry. I'm so it's sorry. Okay. It's okay. It's These okay. are. Uh, it's, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, good evening. Uh, you can see. My, you can see my presentation. No, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. You just please mail it to me. No problem. I'll share it from my side. Okay. Okay. I won't. I won't send you. It's very big. Probably I cannot share it. This is the problem. I can send. I can share by Google Drive, and I send you. I'm sorry. I don't know why it doesn't work. Because in general, it's it's ask me uh, how many participants can share your. Okay. Uh, probably is a kind of a, a setting, a problem of setting. I want to stop just a moment and reopen in order if I want yeah, to. Yeah, If you the new that. setting, okay. Yeah. If new setting is. Sure, a... sure. Yeah, the participants, uh, we will be giving you the presentation of all the um, speakers uh, after the end of the conclave.
Deepika, you can stop sharing. Yes, I don't know. I Uh, guys, can you just check it? The share contain. I think you will have option host. Can you just see the option? I think you can have a. You can make it like you can have a more than one sharing. Something will be there. Sir, the sharing option is given to all people, sir. Okay, so you have made it all. Yeah, I made it all. Sir. Thank you, uh, Professor Janesh. Yeah. So he has sent us some messages here. Madam. Uh, ma'am, can you unmute yourself? Sabrina, ma'am. Unmute yourself. Deepika, madam, uh, remove a few co-hosts from here. Okay, okay. Ma'am, can you sir, tell her to try again? Change my setting also. Just just give it to uh, Tilotama, uh, madam, and give it to Sridhimi, madam, and yourself. Sabrina, ma'am, can you unmute yourself? Sabrina, ma'am? Madam actually signed off. It's, it, here oh, is no. it. Actually, she signed off and signed in now, so I need to make her co host. Just now made her co host. But that ID, uh, yeah, co host. Yeah. Sabrina, ma'am? Just try with SAB SAB. He's not responding. That's fine. Already, madam, is closed, sir. Sabrina, ma'am? Yeah, I think there is some. some yeah, she yeah, started. She, she got it. Sabrina, ma'am, uh, are you able to see your screen, ma'am? Yeah, yeah. Can you see my, my screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We are able to okay, see. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Probably is a problem of uh, sharing. I don't know why, but. Uh, I, I don't have any right to to to, to present my to 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 give to share my presentation. Okay. Okay, fine, ma'am. Can I start? Can I start? Perfect. It's perfect. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sorry yeah. for the delay. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you may start your presentation, please. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the invitation. Um, I am Sabrina Senatore, um, I'm an associate professor from the University of Salerno, and uh, the title of this presentation is Toward Situation Aware UAVS by Semantic Model for a High-Level Situation Comprehension. The, the, the goal of this presentation is uh, to um, give you and um, uh, to present the, the UAV, a manned higher vehicle, and in particular I want to uh, introduce how the semantic web technologies can support uh, the, um, the UAV or in general a, a, a sensing device in their task. We are uh, okay. We are in the Internet of Things, in the, it, the, the 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 era of big data. The Internet of Think is an emerge uh, is emerged as a, a huge technology, a huge huge network, huge network with a lot of devices that um, that are connected to each other, are interconnected in a big network and share a lot of message, and uh, they send a lot of message, and um, at the same time also the the, the unmanned hierarchy aerial vehicles, UAV, or better, uh, UAV-based remote sensing system, are um, as acquiring a lot of, um, a lot of uh, success in the recent year because uh, uh, due to the device miniaturization and cost reduction. Um, the, 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 these sensing technologies 
are um, pushing, uh, are um, generating uh, and increasing the, uh, the, a lot of data, um, a, a big, uh, huge, uh, massive uh, um, amount of data that need to be processed. So uh, there are uh, a lot of data from different uh, sensing device that come from a standard sensing device, for instance, a sensor, uh, a, a classical sensor, or a um, non-conventional uh, sensing device, like, uh, for instance, a lamp in a road that, is, uh, that can be turned on by uh, light sensors. Um, the, 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 it is um, uh, urgent, urgent. This is the, the urgency to get to process uh, this remote, uh, this uh, data, this a big amount of data. Uh, in this direction, high performance processing methods are working to analyze a range data, capture relevant information, capture and sign. In the, in the recent year, also um, other technologies for, that are um, edge computing system are working this direction in order to uh, reduce uh, the um, uh, overload, the, the network overload, and to reduce the time of computation. Um, at the same time, also the artificial intelligence technique, technique in last years are uh, fastly growing around the world because offer a lot of solution, a lot of good solution for classification, profiling, and uh, predicting, and um, especially uh, supported by the high performance computing. But uh, is, is this enough? Uh, uh, let, me, let me introduce a different perspective to answer to these questions. So um, in general, so we, all the, all the, methodolo the methodologies and technologies uh, that uh, from the described e um, domains, um, high performance comedy, data analysis, uh, artificial intelligence techniques, um, represent, in my opinion, a kind of a basic uh, minimal infrastructure to processing data. But at the end of this uh, uh, row, there is, uh, it's important, there is the semantics. The, the semantics in a broader sense, uh, the semantics represent a, the full understanding of what the data describe, what the data represent. And, and a, a, a formal systematic model to process, uh, to extract the semantics is required. Is required. And the, the semantic web technologies can be represent a, a possible uh, solution in this direction. But at the same time, like um, someone say, some, said some times ago, data is the new oil. Uh, um, processing data means get knowledge about the data. And get knowledge means get a power, get the understanding of the data, get the awareness about what the data describe. So um, a kind of basic awareness is necessary in order to understand in order to, to uh, collect and understand the process, uh, to get a, a synoptic uh, way to describe the data, to, to, to get insight from data. So, uh, the, the situation awareness, uh, awareness in general, is a, a, is a, a, a key part of uh, the decision making process. It is um, a, that from the, the, the formal definition, the formal definition the situation, awareness says uh, it is the, the perception of the element in, in an environment and the comprehension, the comprehension of their meaning and also the projection for the, um, of their status in the near future. In other words, the situation awareness is, uh, is um, the, the awareness of what's happening around you and understand what the information means for you, to you now and the future. Uh, the, the situation awareness is um, uh, organized in three different levels, uh, perception, comprehension, and projection that I have, I have described uh, just in a previous, um, previous slide. Uh, so the perception um, get the information from the environment, observe is the, the layer that uh, observe the environment, get the data and process them in order to get at the other at the upper level, 
the comprehension of the current situation. And then uh, all this information give a, a projection of future state, uh, a projection that can be help to, um, to make a decision, to make a decision in the next future, for, to, to decide what is the action to do in, the, that, uh, uh, in that situation. So all, what is the moral of all um, of this history, of those of all this history, is that, that um, uh, we want to get um, um, coming back to my topic. We want to get a device. We want to get a UAV that is able to understand the data and to capture the semantics in, inside data in order to make a decision. So um, uh, the question is: Can a UAV be aware of what? Uh, of the, world, of the current situation. So that in, the, in the complex and dynamic environment, like in a, a, an IoT uh, system, an IoT, uh, um, an IoT system uh, an, an agent, a device in general, should exhibit uh, enhanced capability in order to perceive the environment and understanding the event that happens in the environment, the situation, and interacting with the, the, the environment itself in order to make a decision and sometimes report uh, some uh, um, um, result to the human. In case of the device is an unmanned vehicle, it should be also uh, autonomous. So the, um, the UAV uh, are, um, um, are, the, are um, in, increasing, increasing um, are increasing using in a lot of uh, application. Uh, for instance, uh, for instance, uh, uh, from the first application like military and surveillance domain, uh, now the, um, uh, the UAV are used in the filming journalism, um, shipping, uh, uh, disaster monitoring, uh, safety inspection, uh, rescue operation, and so on. Uh, because they represent a, a cheap uh, technology that uh, can, um, can operate uh, with or without the human uh, operator, and, um, and they usually are equipped with the onboard camera and other um, um, remote, remote sensing uh, devices. But, in, but the, the main uh, uh, important thing that this, um, the UAV are, can perform complex tasks that, um, that can, be, um, can be too complex for human and, um, where, and, um, and can substitute the human when the, the, his, interve its, his intervention, intervention is not possible or very risky. So at this point, uh, let me say, can, what can UAVS see? Just uh, with the, the basic compu computer vision technique, we can say that uh, UAV can get uh, pixel data track. So we can get uh, from, uh, for instance, in this uh, image, in this uh, frame from uh, a video sequence, I can get the, bound, the bounding box and uh, of, the, my move, the, of the moving object and the ID that describe this object, that represent this object. And uh, if uh, the, my UAV is um, enhanced with the classification uh, um, capability, it can be, can, um, can be able to uh, get a label, a class label to each uh, uh, object. For instance, uh, you can say it's a car, it's a bicycle, it's a, a person and so on. But uh, we, would to, we would like that our, um, UAV is able not just to understand what are the main element in the scene, but to understand what the element, what the target are doing in that moment, how the scene is evolving in that moment. So we want to add in the, our UAV some semantic capability in order that he can become aware of the situation, of the current situation. This is our idea. Uh, this picture describes all the process. Um, let's suppose that we have a car stopped in, um, in a, on the road. So, and um, for instance, it's, um, it's a bro it is a broken car. And uh, for instance, there, are, there is some uh, smoke uh, uh, coming from um, uh, it. A, 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 a UAV that's flying on this area 
uh, recognize this, um, this um, situation, recognize, rec uh, see this uh, car, uh, and, um, and um, by and applying in this um, moment, I want to apply the situation awareness model, uh, get, uh, try to achieve the first level, the first level of situation awareness model, the perception that um, if, uh, as we, as, as I said before, is uh, uh, this, um, collect all the data, all the, from the, the scene. So in this case, for instance, the UAV can collect uh, the, um, the image from a camera, is a, uh, can, if uh, he has um, a, a sensor, a, a smoke sensor embedded, he can collect some information about the smoke or just for, for um, information about the GPS position of this uh, uh, vehicle. So all this information are collected. All this information uh, compose the first level of our situation awareness model. To uh, accomplish the second level or um, our, our model, we have to get a comprehension of the situation. So uh, in order to get um, this, this level consists of the elaborate of the data of the lower level in order to get uh, a, a different view, a, a, a high level view or an abstract view or just a synthetic view uh, of what the, the data, the raw data of the low level des say, describe. So for this reason, uh, we use in this le level the semantic web technologies. The, this, the semantic web technologies in, are, um, ev um, uh, are based mainly on, uh, on, on the ontology that describe the scenario, in this case, a road scenario. And then uh, the, the comprehension of the scene is uh, uh, achieved by applying some, some uh, semantic assertion that uh, are the coding of the information captured at the low level at, um, by, the, by the drone. So for instance, uh, we can suppose that uh, the, uh, the our, with the, uh, that the UAV can detect, uh, can uh, collect, the info, uh, can detect the car, can recognize the car, the car is stopping on the road, and then you can deduct that, that um, this car is unsafe because it's on the road. This, uh, all these, um, rule of these con logical consequences are uh, from the inference uh, that is a part of uh, these uh, uh, of the um, semantic web technologies uh, um, and uh, at this point uh, um, after the processing of this data uh, the uav can be able to to under to uh, have a, a complete view uh, can be um, get all the information in a, in, in a synoptic view and can uh, um, reach the final uh, level of uh, uh, situation awareness, the projection that, um, uh, who's, um, that is the projection, uh, the, um, the awareness of the scene in order to make a correct decision. So uh, the UAV can um, decide, can um, reach a final decision about the situation, about the criticality of this situation, any case uh, of uh, uh, this situation is really criti uh, critical, you can send an alert, uh, you can uh, um, um, send a message to human to, in order to call uh, the roadside assistance. This is the process uh, given in um, uh, all the process that we uh, want to, we, we, would, we are applying. Uh, and before uh, giving additional detail, I just want to remark that the semantic web technologies are the, the, the layer of the semantics is a way to uh, get uh, uh, the, the high level description of, a, in this case, of a scenario, but in general of a light, um, high level description of a, a data, of the raw data capturing from the environment. And the, um, in the, on our approach, uh, the, the goal is to uh, code the, the information of low level in assertion, in semantic assertion, uh, in, um, assertion that, uh, that, um, talk, uh, that are related to object, scene, uh, relation between object, and then exploiting the, 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 the query, the reasoning uh, uh, of the um, semantic web at the at behind the semantic web technologies, some new uh, deduction, some new uh, assertion can be deducted. 
in order to get a, a kind of, uh, and this deduction um, represent a nile uh, description, high level description of, um, of the scenario. Kind of, for instance, I want to, uh, our goal is to um, understand what happened in this, in this scene. For instance, to understand that the car is, is broken, is, uh, is stopped because it's broken. So we want to get a high level view of the, this, of the, of the scenario. And, and at the end, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, um, an alerting, uh, predicting an alerting, an alerting situation could be the final uh, uh, goal of all the process. So the, the, our, uh, our approach, our complete approach, represents uh, a way to describe uh, um, um, semantically and a, a, a scene. And in some, in other words, is a, a, a way to make it will be seen aware. <coughs> now, let me give additional detail about the, the level, the level that I introduced, uh, and um, how this level are um, achieved at, um, at technology, from a technological point of view. So let's suppose. So uh, let's suppose that we have this picture, and uh, uh, when the, the UAV uh, collects the data from uh, uh, from uh, flying on an area, uh, all these data are uh, collected in um, in a in a, a file, an XML-based file, uh, where all the information about the tracking are in, are um, collected. So, for instance, just to give a, just a, Uh, simple um, description. This is a simple file, a, a possible um, 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 description of uh, this scenario. Here we are, for instance, um, the, the, the ID identifier, identifier that the tracking associated to this object, this uh, moving object in the scene. So, and uh, um, then we have also the old information about the bounding box that appear through the frame. And then they are um, coded here. So we have all the information about the frame, uh, approved all the frame, uh, the information, the, the, the dimension of the frame, the direction of uh, is moving, some, um, some basic information. And uh, if the, 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 the UAV uh, is uh, uh, empowered with the uh, classification uh, uh, um, activity is able to also give information about the, the, the label associated to it, this, uh, this bounding box, this, uh, this uh, target. And uh, in some case also, um, if there is a, an area, a, area classifier, uh, we can get also information about the place and uh, in the surrounding where the, the object is moving. So, All this information represents the basic, the basic information that we can collect, we can, we can get from uh, the tracking output. So this is for us, the, for, this is the, the raw data. At this point, uh, if, uh, if we remember the, the, the picture, we have the level of comprehension where the, the semantic web technologies um, uh, make uh, have a, a, a big role. So the first thing to do is to uh, define, to get an, a, a, a model, a model that describes scene. So uh, we have to describe uh, the, what, the, which is the, the, the scene where the, the situation evolves. In this case, the scenario is a road scenario. So uh, uh, for instance, here we have a, a sketched ontology that uh, is called the uh, track poi. We have defined this ontology for describe the, the, the scenario. And uh, in general, this ontology have two um, main um, concepts, track and poi, because in, the, in general from the video tracking, we get just a track. And we can get, uh, if we have some uh, georeferential um, um, task, uh, skill, we can get the poi, point of interest, POI. Um, And um, for this um, reason, uh, so uh, the, the, the track class uh, describe all the bounding box of the, of the, of the object in the, in the frame. And uh, for instance, I want just to give you an idea. 
for instance, this, this, uh, this is an assertion, a coding of the information. Let's suppose that we have uh, from the um, um, from the previous slide, we can get that uh, here we get that um, the, 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 um, the the bounding box identifier by number one is a person. We can collect this information and uh, we can get that um, the the ID RDF type stand for belong to. The, this ID, this is an individual. This is an, an instance uh, um, uh, is. Uh, belong to a class person. This is a prefix just to identify that person is a, a class as defined inside this ontology. It's just a way to identify um, the, the, the ontology, the reference ontology. Uh, so in this case, uh, we, we, are, we can also say, for instance, track poi ID, RDF type, track poi Track because uh, track is a sub, uh, because uh, track is a superclass of a person. So this is the first example of coding of the um, of the, 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 the information from this file into a, a semantic ontology-based assertion. We need the ontology in order to transform, in order to make a meaning to this object, to make a, a semantic to this to the to the um, to the, um, the individuals from the scene. Then the same similar, we can uh, add some information about the POIF. For instance, we know that this, this po point of interest is uh, a 20 number and 23. Um, we can coll uh, collect that, um, for instance, that uh, the, the point of interest uh, 23 uh, belong to the, the class uh, point of interest. If we have additional detail, for instance, uh, we have uh, in the previous slide, we have that the, the man is on the loan. We can, and we have in this uh, slide, there is, there is no uh, concept to loan. Uh, we can add uh, track boy RDF type uh, uh, track boy uh, loan. So, in order to specify that uh, this track is on the, on the uh, this, this uh, track represents uh, the loan. Or this is the basic, uh, I know, is the, the, the a simple way to translate our file, our tracking uh, um, output in, in an ontology population, because we have defined ontology that is a, is a schema that represents our ontology. And now we have to code all the information uh, uh, in the file, in the XML-based file, into uh, ontology population, exploiting the ontology defined, the, the ontology schema. So for instance, in this case, we have a different representation because it's from a real study. So for instance, here I want, this is the track with the number at one in the, at the frame 512. This is the, the name of this, because we have a, the same image that we have a lot of, um, of a frame, a, a frame sequence that uh, describe a video. So the same frame, the same track appears in all uh, the, the frame. Uh, so oh, in, uh, in many frames, in many, in many frames. So it's important to uh, understand, to differentiate the, diff the, 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 the object, what is really the object that we are uh, considering. So for instance, here we have some information, we have uh, coded some information from this piece of, um, of a tracking output file. So for instance, here we have that uh, this track is uh, a, an individual, it's, 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 it's information from the o OWL ontology, the standard ontology. So it's, uh, you can just to say it's an individual, it's not a class, it's an individual. Uh, in particular, it's a person and it's also a track. Uh, here we have other information about it. For instance, uh, we have the information about the size of bounding box. We have information, um, uh, for instance, uh, we have all other information about the geoposition of the, our object. Or we can, uh, can calculate information about uh, on the speed by considering the, the, um, considering the speed uh, across uh, all, all the, um, the frames. Okay, all this part is just the initial, uh, the, the, the coding or our uh, basic, um, uh, um, uh, or our basic data, or our raw data that come from the tracking um, algorithm. Uh, 
uh, so um, it's it's uh, so far we have just to translate uh, in semantic uh, um, uh, assertion uh, the object the, um, the object the identification the classification of them uh, the GPS position of a fixed mobile object and we can also add some special relation between object and point of interest for instance if we have here here we have two bounding boxes a, a very schematic uh, we are uh, here we have all uh, most of uh, our um, spatial relation our defined spatial relation uh, for instance uh, the here we have um, two bounding box x and y and uh, here they are related by the relation is near so because and the, 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 this information can be collected by the tracking uh, file and can some computing are applied in order to get uh, the to, in order to understand to get to get this information if uh, there are some uh, if the distance between uh, the two uh, bounding box uh, is uh, close enough or for instance uh, another uh, relation is this one is if we have two bounding box that uh, are moving uh, uh, in the, the, in the different direction, one in front to the other, we can get, we can um, um, add, we can um, collect this uh, new assertion, uh, X uh, is in front of uh, Y, and so on. So this is, so we uh, add some to the initial basic uh, uh, translation, let me say, translation of uh, the, the information from raw data from XML, uh, uh, file to um, semantic assertion, we add additional information that we can calculate. So at this point, uh, let's give a look to this, uh, is, um, uh, this video. Uh, this is video is from uh, the is rec was recorded at the University of Palermo by my students. And uh, we can, it's, uh, it show a, a man that crossing uh, the road, uh, whereas a car is approaching. It is, um, um, the, the description. Oh, now we use this video to describe um, all the process. So um, let's uh, suppose that we have this frame. Okay. So uh, so uh, so so far, a UAV can uh, get information about. Uh, let me say it, get information about the um, the, um, the bounding box and object identification. In the case, in this case, we have two object tier uh, sixteen and tier. Uh, 14 and um, then we have all the information about the the classification so we we know that it uh, it is a person and it is a car or in general it is a vehicle so at this point uh, the semantic uh, web layer can uh, uh, allow to model high level knowledge merging this tracking data with the high level uh, data from the environment so you can get uh, uh, additional information like we uh, like spatial information that we have seen uh, before oh, and, and we can get uh, uh, new additional data that are just uh, calculated and um, but uh, uh, semantic web technologies can be uh, can uh, derive also new knowledge by ontology reasoning. This is the, the, the important uh, result, important thing. Because, um, for instance, if we have uh, this simple, um, if we have a sequence of a, of a frame from a video, for instance, um, uh, this three um, frame, um, we can um, get, uh, and for instance, consider this, this frame, we can uh, get them from this, sorry, from this, um, um, from um, by uh, infer by inference by uh, applying some rule. We can get uh, a description of high level. That in this case uh, we that um, can be translated a simple activity. So um, a simple activity uh, can be obtained by applying rules on the track assertion. And, and using uh, spatio-temporal relation, uh, frame by frame, throws all to, over the time. So, uh, for in, in this case, just to give an example, is a, a, a little bit technical, but it's not complicated because uh, uh, we define this um, rule is a kind of a, a query. It's very similar to 
SQL query is a sparkle, uh, it's a, a sparkle language. We have this, um, this clause, the construct clause, that is um, allow us to build the, um, the simple activity running. The simple activity running uh, can happen between, uh, between a, an object, this, that is a variable, another object is a, a variable. The, the, um, the question mark uh, um, behind the, the variable represents the, the, the question mark and the, the name describe a variable. So in the, here in this part in the where, I, uh, the, the rule describe how this uh, assertion can hold. So for instance, here, these represent a vehicle. So in this, this role is played by vehicle. This role is played by uh, root or road. And uh, then we have to add, for instance, uh, the D in order, because we have to collect all the D across the frame. So we have to collect the same ID in order to really um, get all the data about uh, the, the same object. And then we have also information about the area where, um, so it's import important to say that, uh, the, the you have, that, that uh, our um, object is on the point, in the point of, uh, point of insert, sorry. And uh, finally, uh, it's important that uh, the, the speed is, uh, uh, is not equal to zero uh, in order that this uh, rule can, um, can uh, hold. So in this way, uh, it's a kind of, uh, this rule is a, a query, a Sparkle query that allows to get, to, to process uh, this info, to get uh, this new assertion. This comes from uh, um, the set, this set of, uh, of, um, of, this, of assertion that uh, should be verified in order to get uh, this new information. So working this way, we can get all the simple activity. We can collect all the simple activity uh, over the, um, our uh, uh, video and uh, over, over time. And in general, the complex activity the, the, or the situation, we can say, is a combination of uh, this um, uh, of um, a composition, sorry, composition of the simple activity. And uh, we can collect the simple activity by a query um, applied on the same uh, identifier, the same object. And uh, at the same time, uh, the, the simple activity are merged um, are uh, with the object trajectory, speed, uh, um, active duration, in order to co uh, collect the complex activity. For instance, here we have man crosses the road. The man crosses the road is the composition, is that this is two activity, uh, work on the lawn, work on the road, uh, and then is going towards the road margins, and then the other two activity working work on the road is going towards the road margin. So this is the activity or crossing the road. Uh, this is the way that we define this activity. And um, uh, um, in this way, we get the kind of, this, uh, we apply the, the final uh, situation, the final activity is a, a composition, it's a kind of disjunction of this, uh, of this uh, simple activity. And so if you give a look at the previous uh, um, video, we have the annotated uh, one, uh, with the, the basic, the, the simple activity. So it is uh, the, the, the representation of the same video uh, with the annotation. And uh, my student uh, define also this uh, simple framework that allows to collect all the information. For instance, I want a situation in a range of time. I want to get all the activity. I want to understand if the situation can be critical or not. So they define, they uh, um, apply some query on the system. We get the relation here, the activity in this, this uh, uh, time interval. And then we can get also uh, if there are some uh, uh, alerting situation. In this case, uh, the cross, uh, the main crossing is a not, uh, the, um, um, it's a safe situation because uh, uh, all the, uh, all the, um, the object that, in the, that um, participate to this, this uh, situation uh, are safe, are in safe. And uh, at this point, okay, uh, this is uh, the, the, the basic uh, structure of our, uh, the, 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 I try to give you the, the most, uh, the, an idea about uh, how all the process can be uh, done. And uh, here uh, I want to show just uh, the, the, we have done, I have, I have, um, 
carried out some experimentation in order to validate if uh, our uh, um, system uh, work uh, uh, in correct way. So we initially we have um, uh, manually uh, annotated. Um, we have defined the ground to, to by annotated the video, and then we uh, have calculated the recall and the precision uh, with the, the jacquard um, matrix and the uh, means absolute matrix. And so we can, um, the data set is not too large, but it's very complicated to process video because we have to process frame by frame. It's quite uh, time consuming. We process the 21 videos uh, and um, we have detected 21 uh, uh, activity. And um, the video are around uh, one, two minutes long. And uh, this is the result seem, uh, seems promising. Uh, um, so at this point, uh, before uh, pass to conclusion, uh, I just want to uh, give last last level is the projection, is the, the projects, the awareness of what's happening in order to make a decision. So uh, we have uh, um, across all the the all the, the stage, starting from object identification to arrive the situation description. The final step is the decision making. Decision making that we have. Uh, um, achieved by, uh, for instance, FATSI coin the map, and, um, or we can use just a simple rule. For instance, uh, I can, um, if you uh, recall this, um, this uh, picture, for instance, at the, at the top of this level, the, 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 sit the situation can be critical or not, uh, can, uh, the, by applying a simple rule uh, that is a kind of Swear rule, a simple, a simplified, a simplified version of Swear rule, through their language for uh, for semantic web for in, for query for a rule uh, in semantic web technologies, and we can so if uh, the vehicle um, is stopped in um, on the road, we can say that this um, in a, in a critical a critical is a critical stopping. So at this point, uh, my conclusion is that I try to pass really in, in, in a very intuitive way um, how it's possible to um, enhance our device to make device smart and aware about the situation, about what they are um, to, um, saying, what they, they, are, they are observing. In particular, the goal is to uh, make the description scenario more uh, human-like, uh, um, similar to the way the human describe a scenario. To do this, we have defined an ontology, an ontology that allows us to describe a scenario, describe all the objects that appears in a scenario. We have defined a knowledge from the um, from parsing the, the XML files, and then we um, get a, a knowledge abstraction project that is um, a description of a situation. Uh, like a, a night level description of situation. And the finally, the last step um, is to, to get some possible uh, rule to decide if uh, some situation can be, or just to, to um, understand, recognize uh, um, alerting situation, uh, just to, uh, because um, um, sometimes the U, uh, UAV system are used for monitoring. Uh, so it's important to have a system that is able to understand, to recognize alerting the situation. Okay, that's all. It's my presentation. Sorry uh, if I, um, I bothered you in some way with the initial part uh, uh, with a lot of... Um, I don't know if there are some questions. Uh, thanks, Sabrina. That was a nice, wonderful session. Now the uh, session is open for queries. The participants can unmute themselves and... Uh... Sorry, maybe I was uh, too long, probably, sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's, no, it's okay. Uh, it's a good talk. And um, I'm Prehlad Ra here, here from RGM CAT, Dean of Computer Science. This is uh, basically the applications are on video analytics. This is more of the on the video analytics, uh, this one, or it is for the decision making and uh, it's an ontology uh, related research area. Uh, um, in the, I don't, I'm not sure to understand your question. Yeah, the question is basically, see, nowadays in the lot of uh, security related uh, applications in the video analytics, 
like you have a lot of the video of the situation uh, of the environment mm -hmm. and if any uh, any situation basically the, in the analytics basically the uh, in, in in the event of any untoward situation people people will be security people will be using that uh, for the uh, anal really? analysis, analysis of the situation yeah really this is a kind of a, uh, the first experience this direction because uh, uh, we um, so far don't use it's just a, 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 a research exercise so but the idea is to for instance is to use this approach for monitoring uh, some situation to understand to describe for instance just describe the scenario at high level this is the the main goal so, so to translate what is uh, what appear in the in the scene what happened in this moment, what is up, happening in the in the in the, in the scene at, in um, providing an high level description providing for instance the people crossing the road not the people is on the on the side of the road then he come it um, move on the other side and so on to get, um, our idea is to uh, translate the, the basic information, the raw data, in, um, in um, information that are more uh, natural language oriented, uh, more uh, closer to the, to the human viewpoint. This is, uh, for, uh, for now, is our approach. It's not related, uh, probably um, this approach is not, is, um, I don't know if your question is related to security. No, actually, not yeah, it's a wonderful application. Actually, it's a lot of applications in the secu uh, security related areas. And uh, how much is the computation intensity, uh, computational intensity is actually? actually yeah, it's, it's a very, uh, very uh, uh, you have to understand that we are working on this area because um, because uh, uh, you for e for each uh, uh, if um, uh, each frame generate a lot of data a lot of data a lot of assertion about so you are working on the uh, a kind of a synthetization of a, of a frame where the objects are the same and there are no don't, no relevant uh, difference between the, the two consecutive two or more consecutive frame and really is a, a, a little bit um, very um, time consuming because yeah. uh, uh, because so if they can uh, be real time we can do that then it's a lot of applications in the yeah real time is not uh, i think it's not um, applicable uh, so far because because it's not uh, i am just uh, so we use just to describe a scenario to, have, to be, give and just to for instance to uh, query it to get give me all the info all the data what happened in this time from uh, the time zero to time x just to say it's a way to get uh, information what's happening today uh, from uh, the time in the, this range of times just uh, a way to use it after uh, by in order to get uh, some information not in real time because it's not it's so, not very uh, just to get a uh, rough idea for me suppose the situation what you have shown uh, how much computationally time it is involves computationally how much roughly uh, the situation like you have shown the car going in a small area and then a person walking and yeah. then the no, no, uh, this 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 situation is not in this sample is not very complicated in really we have a uh, uh, cut our video uh, collecting a small part if we, uh, my student um, achieve this um, i think the um, if we apply, really we applied i don't explain but we have uh, um, there are a, a kind of a, um, um, uh, hidden layer that uh, uh, that uh, synthesizes some information. So we just collect the, the basic information uh, across the, the frame. So the, the, uh, this layer, this, 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 this video, this the application of this video of the, on the, this 21, uh, videos are um, are quite uh, efficient because we have uh, optimized them, but in general it's very complicated. Really, we are working on to um, synthesize uh, the processing of the data, but is um, we are get some improvement uh, of the thirty percent, and uh, but um, we have to reduce a lot because it's a very very time uh, consuming activity.
Are you using any deep uh, neural network? Uh, uh, no, we don't use a deep neural network. You use, for instance, it used uh, at a low level by the tracking, uh, by the, um, the, the SIMS. For instance, uh, we worked with our colleague that uh, uh, give us the file. So they use, the, for the classification, they use uh, deep learning and uh, other approach for tracking. But we don't use it in our uh, model. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, uh, Sabrina, we have one more question from, from the chat box. What kind of hardware resources do we require to perform this type like, of research? What kind? Sorry, uh, it's uh, it, it, some noise. Can you repeat, please? What kind of hardware resources do we require to perform this research? Participant Srinivas has asked. Uh, resource, oh, really, mm, just uh, we need really the main problem is to get the video, <laughs> really, because, um, the, because uh, in general, uh, we, for instance, when we start to, uh, to work in this direction, we had to produce our video. The first video was recorded at the university because we want to find a simple uh, scene because it's very complicated. Uh, firstly, because there are a lot of uh, problems at the video tracking uh, um, level, uh, especially when we have a lot of uh, uh, target at moving the scene. So um, the, first, the first problem is to get the, really, to get the, the output of tracking, the file, because uh, uh, in general we look for them to work on uh, the, the video because we don't need all the, the, the raw data. We don't need all the, the, the activity uh, to, uh, before the, 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 the tracking uh, uh, output file. So uh, the main problem is to get the video because the, because, uh, the video are very, very, uh, sometimes are very complicated. For instance, if you have an AD, you have a bounding box, it's move, uh, and uh, for instance, for some seconds, it disappear, in the IDs change. So it's very complicated to, um, to um, associate the same object, the same target. So this is the basic problem that to, uh, are um, necessary to solve in order to work uh, on, our, on the semantics, on the upper level of the semantics. So uh, for this kind of research, it's just to um, have a need, uh, probably a UAB in order to, if you can use, because there are a lot of restrictions. So um, uh, in order to get some, to build some uh, uh, scene, really we have uh, built some, the scene that uh, the, the man that crosses the road, because we have to, we want to work uh, on this, uh, on this scenario. So um, it's not easy to, to get uh, them. Oh, thanks, Sabrina. Uh, now I request my coach to take any more queries. Okay, I request uh, my co-chair uh, Deepika to display the appreciation certificate as a token of gratitude. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Sabrina, for giving an overview on the UAV knowledge and the use thank of- Thank you to you uh, to inviting me. It's, uh, it's yeah, an honor use of to, to be here with you. Thank you a lot. Thank you, thank you, Sabrina. Thank you, thank you. Uh, one minute, uh, Sabrina. One minute. Yes. Yeah, this is Dr. Sandi from Anurag. Yes. And uh, I would like to thank you for uh, contributing uh, as a reviewers for ICACII 2019. I know that oh, you was okay. what you was one of the reviewer and you really helped us. And uh, thank okay. you very much for that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> thank you. You're I was the really. convener and I was the editor for that. Ah, okay, so thank, okay. Thank you, thank you very much for that. And uh, now I would like to ask everyone to switch on their videos so that we can have a group pitch now. Deepika, okay. ma'am, can we have a, a gallery view? Yes, I made it to gallery view. You can made into your system, so you have to make it. No, no, but you can take it. Yeah, yeah, I can. Uh, still, yeah. others are owning their video. Give them to. Yeah. Me. So just request all the participant. I request all the participants to switch on their videos. Okay. Everyone, please, so that we can quickly finish it that, and we can leave the session. Okay, okay, yes. Thank you, Sabrina, for your time. You are welcome. It's a pleasure. I repeat, it's a pleasure. Thank you.
It was very nice session. We are getting lot of good feedback in the chat box. Okay. Ah, nice, nice. I I like. Sorry for my English is not not so good, but uh, I mean I hope in the future I can improve. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't it, think it's so, good. But, uh... We can understand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's, yeah, it's yeah, not we... too. Yeah, yeah. We can understand. No problem at all. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Okay. Yeah. Thank you again. So th thank you, again. thank you, thank you very much. I think uh, team they have taken the picture. And we will share all the pictures and all the, all the. Yeah. Uh, Hello yes. to everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. For, uh... <laughs> Thank you, everyone, and good night, and have a nice day. Yeah. Good night. Bye. Good night to you. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Have a, a good night. Bye bye. Can you share bye -bye. your email ID? Your email uh, sir. ID. Janvi. Email ID will be. We will share the email ID, sir. We have. So as we have told you. At the end, we are going to share all the speakers' mail IDs and all the details. Okay, okay sir. Right, sir. Right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. A good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. All the participants kindly fill up the attendance session. It will be open for another ten minutes. All the participants kindly fill up the attendance session, please.